<coughs> Hi everyone, Jean here. Welcome to my craft video, my first one. I must have to add. add. <laughs> anyway, today I thought we'd I'd show you how to make these these lovely little cards. And when you open it up, it opens up like that. Now I saw this made on Anne's Happy Stampers. So thank you Anne. And I liked it that much I thought we'd have a go. So here goes. Now what we'll need is cardstock. Any cardstock that you like. This happens to be a Stampin' Up one. Not that I'm a Stampin' Up demonstrator. But I do like their card. Um, and we, will, we want a piece of card. Eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Um, and we score it at four and one eighth rotate it and score it four and one eighth again but to begin with we'll start with this cardstock eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter we need two pattern pieces at four by four we need one piece of four by four there we go we want one piece of three by three and we want two pieces of three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So here goes. I'm just getting my scoreboard and we'll start. So I hope you can see me okay. We score at four and one eighth. And just score straight down. Four and one eighth. Rotate and score again at four and one eighth. Just be careful though, they're not too hard as you might go through the paper. I thought I had them, but not quite. And then what we have to do is start from the top left down to the bottom right. So we put us ruler on the top left corner uh, top left corner and again your ruler on your bottom right just make sure it goes onto that point and then score now it will not score as deep as if you were on the scoring board but at my, my cutter doesn't uh, do scoring but I can see where it's scored I don't know if you can but then what we do is burnish it all my bottom folder you see that's not gone right make sure the level and just burnish across both sides and then burnish the other side like that and then what we've got to do then is fold this corner to corner where we scored now I'm going to have to pick mine up because I can't see it there we go just make sure that's meeting yeah okay well as far as it'll be okay <laughs> oh dear <laughs> right now when you pick it up you push these in which is takes a little bit of maneuvering at times just to get this just a minute that goes in I fiddle about with this because it just won't go in at the beginning. There we go. And suddenly it just flips into place. There we go. Brilliant. And just give it a good burnish. Mine's not gotten as level as I would like it, but hey ho, we'll manage. There we go. And that's his little card. So when it opens up, here's where you put your... Here's where you write on and here, or vice versa, is where you put your pattern. Now what I'm going to do is do a little pattern on these for little areas with my ink and I'm using Tangelo Twist but you use any that you have in your stock 
Right, and I'm going to use this little flower, which I thought would be quite nice. And just stamp it along and stamp near to the edge so it goes off a little bit. And that makes it look more natural. Just like that, and then over the other side. Doesn't matter if it goes off this side a little bit because that will be covered just a tiny bit there and a tiny bit there. Let me get a, a wipe and just wipe that up, else Jean will have it all over herself. And this will look as though it being dipped in orange. Let's get um, excuse me a minute. Wipe it down. There we go. It's fine. Right, no, <coughs> excuse me. What we do now is we put our designer paper on. Now these <coughs> are to go on here, like this. It's a little bit longer. I think it better not be fine. And here. And then this three and three quarters goes on the top like that. So first of all we'll stick these down. I like both sides of this paper. Difficult to know which to choose. And uh, get it as straight as we can. Hey ho, my eyesight's not very good, so pretty good. I'm happy with that. And next one. And my first boo boo, I've done the writing upside down, but hey ho, I don't think anybody will notice. <laughs> I don't think you'll know. They never stand on their head and look at it the other way, can't they? <laughs> oh dear. Right, that's that one down. Now we're going to stamp on this one. I don't know what I've got on there. Hang on, it's no rubber. A little bit of a pencil mark. That's it. It's off. Right, so we're going to stick this one down because this is the one that. We can write our message on. There we go. We'll just stick that in the middle like that. There we go. We can write a nice verse or a message on that. Now this one, I'm going to stamp on it. And I've chosen today. It's from Stamping Up and it's Hydrangea. I love hydrangeas. So, and I'm not bothering doing the leaves in a different colour. I'm just going to stamp it all in one colour. So it looks just as nice. Pop it in the middle and just hold it a minute and stamp. Lovely. Lovely. Let that dry a minute. And then we're going to stick this onto the other one. There we go. Try and centre it again. I like to use wet glue because it just gives that little bit of time, a little bit of wiggle room. And Jean needs a bit of wiggle room. <laughs> right, now I'm going to do the front. And I haven't got a piece of cut of this, and we will need a piece of. Let's have a look. This is four by four. So if we yeah, if we do a piece 
um, 4x4, four four, how much do I want? Um, 3 and 3 quarters. Let's get my score, um, cutting board. 3 and 3 quarters. Three and three quarters. Let's have a look. Yeah, lovely. Lovely. Right, that's that. I cut over there. And we will stick this onto the white. That's it. And then this piece, again, we will stamp. This is for the front piece. Or I'll tell you what, we won't do that one. We'll do this one instead. And this one is stamping up. And it's, thanks, Vintage Verses. Stamp this one up, make sure it's stamped, inked, and pop it on. And lift it up. Lovely. Lovely. Wishing you a day as perfect as you are. Hope you can see that. Right, so now we're going to stick this on the back of this Tangelo twist mat. Like so. Try and get it as even as you possibly can and as straight as you possibly can. That looks okay. We'll stick it down and now we'll stick this onto this. Well, it's a beautiful day again today. I hope you're all having this nice weather. We'll stick this on the front. Try and get this as level as we possibly can. There we go. And that's the card just about done. There we go. Now what we can do, what I haven't got out again, is put some ribbon on to fasten it. Or what you can do, that's over a little bit there, I'm not happy with that, but hey ho. That's it. Um, now I've got ink on it. I tell you, you've got to be really careful with this uh, stamping up ink. I'll sort that after. What we can do, excuse me a minute, is um, let's have a look what we've got. Go to bed. <coughs> can fasten it with a little peg so you can fasten it with anything it's up to you but what I suggest you do if you're going to do it with the ribbon you want to put the ribbon under this first mat and don't come this way because your card won't open if you go all the way, way around but you fix it here going out that way and then at the back or you fix it here and leave a long length this side come round the back and fix it just there if you fix it any further it's not going to open properly and then when you open it you've got your card well I hope you like that and I know I've made one or two boobos but it is my first time but thanks ever so much for watching and if you've enjoyed it click the like button and please subscribe Thank you. Bye.